my latest video, I covered the practicalities of how to use lighting in your chicken coop, including what kind of light bulbs to use, what colour and intensity, their location and timing, and some safety considerations. So if you want to use lighting in your chicken coop, I hope that gives you some ideas about how to do it. But one question I didn't answer was, should you? And the answer is, as it is with so many questions about chickens, it depends. So let's have a look at some of the things it depends on. First of all, given the practicalities that I already covered, is it even possible for you? Do you have electricity near your coop that the lights can run on? And the ability to set and adjust the timing to maintain that target 15 hour day as the natural sunset times change. It's a lot more complicated than I expected at first, so naturally I asked myself, is it worth it for me and my chickens? Assuming it is possible for you, you have a decision to make based on your particular situation and your chickens. We've looked at the differences in natural day length at various cities at different latitudes. If you and your chickens happen to live in Singapore or Mumbai or anywhere else not far from the equator, your day lengths are going to be pretty optimal for chickens all year round. So there you would have no use for artificial lighting for your chickens, assuming you are raising them in natural daylight. But if you and your chickens live in the temperate zone, as in fact many people do, then the hours of daylight will rise and fall between long summer days and long periods of winter darkness. And as we know, chickens have a hard time laying eggs when the number of hours of daylight falls below 12 hours per day. So adding supplemental lighting to your chicken coop might make sense to you. A little bit it depends on why you keep chickens anyway. For commercial egg farmers, this is a purely business proposition. In return for being fed and housed, the hens are expected to produce eggs. And in order to sell eggs all year round, they must use extra lighting with their young commercial hybrid hens. And the cost of that lighting is factored in to the cost of producing eggs for sale and therefore the price of eggs. So if you're doing this for financial reasons, you need to take account of the cost of the initial setup and electricity usage. Even if you're not selling your eggs, if it's important to you to get eggs all year round, or if you just hate the idea of feeding those chickens and not getting any eggs in return, then supplemental lighting is probably going to be worth it to you to keep your hens laying for more months of the year. Sure, it won't be quite all year round. Unless you plan to replace your hens annually, you need to give them a short winter holiday of at least a couple of months every year. But you can certainly get them back on the lay much earlier in spring than your natural daylight hours would. So if you need to get eggs nearly all year round and you're prepared to set up the system and keep adjusting the timing to keep the day length at target, then you probably will choose artificial lighting to help you achieve this. But is it safe and healthy for your chickens? Some chicken keepers believe it causes the chickens stress and health problems such as aggression, prolapse, egg binding and ovarian cancer. They will point out that commercial hens pushed to non-stop egg production with artificial lighting have more of these problems than chickens kept in natural conditions. Of course, the truth is nuanced. If you decide to turn on a light, it can be easy to use the wrong type of light, the wrong intensity, or for too long. Chickens will suffer if the light is too bright or too dim, a flickering fluorescent, or even toxic Teflon. And they definitely need a nightly period of darkness for sleep, just like we do, or they certainly will suffer from stress. In fact, the ideal is about nine hours of darkness each night. Studies have shown that more than 17 hours of light each day actually decreases egg production anyway. So it's in everyone's best interest to get that timing right. 
and there are definite risks from inducing pullets to lay before their bodies are mature enough. Such early laying pullets are more prone to prolapse later in life. I have a video about prolapse and how you can help, but it's by far the best to avoid anything that makes prolapse more likely. So don't use artificial light for pullets under 20 weeks old. And it's certainly true that keeping your hens at peak egg production for months and months on end without a yearly break is very hard on their metabolism. Ultimately, they would fail. So you must always plan an annual rest, molt and recovery for them if you want them to live long and healthy lives. And there are obvious safety risks if a bulb shatters and spreads broken glass everywhere or insecure wiring that the chickens can peck at or roost on and above all the risk of fire if hot bulbs are near flammable material. But it's not true that hens on artificial daylight will somehow run out of eggs. When a female chick is hatched, her ovary already contains all the ova she will ever have. Every day she lays an egg, she uses up one of those ova. But there are tens of thousands of them, more than enough for an egg a day for over 30 years. And chickens don't live for 30 years. I have a video about how long chickens do live. So running out of eggs is just not a thing. But is extra lighting in your chicken coop unnatural? Well, when you remember that chickens were originally jungle fowl that lived in a tropical climate with moderately long daylight hours all year round, maybe what's unnatural is to expect them to live and lay at latitudes with such short daytimes for so much of the year. If you live in a country with long dark winters, your chickens might actually find it more natural if you restored that long daylight time for them. I think that whether or not you use artificial lighting for your chickens should be your choice based on things like where you live and how long are your winter days. Whether your chickens are confined inside for long periods, either because of the weather or perhaps because of the danger of bird flu. Whether you have or can easily get electricity to your chicken coop and can achieve the precise control of timing that is necessary without fail. Which breeds of chicken you keep? Some breeds have a better reputation than others for being able to keep laying when the days are shorter. And how important is it to you to get eggs from your chickens all year round? Or can you consider eggs as a seasonal food item? Or learn to store eggs to eat when your hens are off the lay? And that's pretty easy. All you need do is put your excess eggs in the fridge. It doesn't really have to be an all or nothing decision. You can add supplemental lighting early in the spring to encourage your chickens into lay earlier and then let them live out the rest of the year naturally. That way you might have a few weeks in the winter time with no eggs being laid, but it wouldn't be months and months on end. So it's your choice. And if, like me, you don't have electricity in your chicken coop, then at the very least make the most of the natural lighting that there is by having nice big windows in your chicken house and painting the inside of it a pale colour. I painted mine white, and this will tell you why I did that. Above all, be kind to your chickens and grateful for the eggs that they do lay for you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. See you next time.